Yes. Can I come in? <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> my humble home. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> All right, welcome to my little hallway where I have my jackets, the shoes, of course, the toilet paper, all that good stuff, the hats up there, a nice rack up there where you can put luggage and stuff, ample storage space. All right, now I've not cleaned, so this is my natural habitat. <laughs> this is the bathroom, everybody welcome. <laughs> Oh, I'm right here. <laughs> you can see here you have space for your stuff, a little sink floating. Luckily, someone had left this here, so I could put my toiletries, shower toiletries here. And of course, the floor can be used as well. This is the shower, everybody. Uh, we have some places here to hang some stuff above the toilet. Nice, nice. Of course, some hooks here for hanging stuff. Nice, nice. Moving on. By the way, this flat is located in Uokula in Toroku, which is a student accommodation um, here in Toroku for Toroku University. And it also, people from the other two universities in Toroku can also stay here. So we're all mixed in together. Um, I have a bedroom and a bathroom and then we have a shared kitchen with the 12 people on my hallway. This is my room, it's pretty big <laughs> for what I'm used to. If you come in here, you can see all my closet space. Here are my postcards from mostly the UK, the Edinburgh, Oxford, Glenfin, Viaduct, of course Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Scotland, Durham. Are you sensing a theme? These are Scotland as well. This is Scotland as well. Little Scottish sheep. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I've already started the process of moving out. So you can see there's not that much stuff here. Well, there is still stuff, but not it's not as full as it was before. This is the little I Heart Scotland bear. I have two of them. I have a blue one too that's just Scotland. I also have Porto postcard, Copenhagen. This is my friend. Painted this by herself for me. Me in Singapore, Liz and I in Singapore, Singapore, Bali, Bali. <laughs> yeah, I just have like my clothes in there, random stuff that's left, pajamas, just random things. Tenerife, Porto. This was when I was an RA. This was our whole team when we were there. I also, up on top, I lined the wall with different photos of myself with my friends and family. Of course, Scotland tea towel on the wall. My dish drying station. <laughs> my guitar, a random beagle that someone put into my mailbox once upon a time. Rice cookers up here, more storage space. Okay, here I actually have this. This was here, but it fell down, and since I'm in the process of moving out, I have not put it back. Oh, what is this? Oh yeah, I also had this. I got this from my friend. It's Edinburgh Castle. Of course. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit obsessed. Okay, here's the microwave. This is my like kitchen station. So I have, <laughs> I have my toaster, my microwave, my Wi-Fi. Fridge, again, Scottish cow, that's um, Edinburgh as well, and Oxford, and yeah, it's pretty empty, so I'm not really staying here anymore. These curtains 
are made with my grandma, custom made for these windows. And you can come and look at the view outside. I particularly liked it because out my window I could see 1D, as in one direction. <laughs> it always makes me smile. <laughs> Really, it does. I, that was the first thought I had when I came here and looked out the window. I was like, oh, I have a view of one the building 1D. How perfect. And yeah, if anyone needs to catch my attention, they could just come and knock on my window to know that they were ready and waiting for me. <laughs> so that was convenient, too. Fedora's going by. And yeah, one time there was a... What's it called? Fossani? A pheasant. Right out my window. So that was pretty cool. This was my table where I would do some homework, my online classes, eat, and not much to say about that. I have some pictures of Sydney back in 2020 when we first were in lockdown. One of my fun things was practicing the Thai alphabet or like the different characters they have. So that's what that is. Then I have Sydney Hart which I also had in my dorms in Edinburgh. And then this is still from 2020. <laughs> I have the Scottish guys calendar. So, Scottish lads <laughs> in kilts. <laughs> yes, and then my bed. Not much to say about that. This I got in Edinburgh as well. And yeah, this is from Ikea. <laughs> Fun to know. And this is a Build-A-Bear, actually, from when I was young. I have a Beagle pillow. And... Is there anything else to say? Not really. Everything else... There used to be a desk there that I would use for storing stuff as well. Yeah, I, as I said, I'm kind of starting to move out now so bye bye room i've lived here for almost three years now like i've had this place coming up on three years so this is the longest place i've had my own like place that i'm renting continuously because everywhere else it was max one year i lived in so yeah that's why i'm a little bit attached to this place even though i didn't live here that much i was kind of going back and forth because of lockdowns and stuff, everything was online, but yeah. This is what a Turku dorm looks like if you ever come to live in Uyokula. My building is two. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> so this is flat 2D. Like building. Building 2D and my door is 12. So <laughs> if you live here after me, let me know. <laughs> Since I won't be posting this until I leave, so, you know, it's fun to say in retrospect. But yeah, this is my dorm. There's my door. There it is. Hey. So yeah, this is the emergency exit where my friends could come in from. Then you walk this way. Wait. Next to this tree. That was my room. People would come in. Knock like that. Right there. My room. First floor. Oh. Coming through here, sorry it's super shaky. That's the kitchen. 
That's where my bike was stolen from. So be careful, guys. Tootie. Tootie. Just like a couple seconds? Yeah, because I'll just scream. Oh, okay. It.